PlayStation. How's it going people? I'm Waterfields1 and welcome to this week's PlayStation 4 News where I round up all the gaming headlines from this past week. So of course if you're new around here or if you've stumbled across this video by accident then please do me a favour, hit that subscribe button and help the channel to grow. But with that said, let's do it. First up, it's only taken 24 years but we finally have an announcement for Streets of Rage 4. Yes, there's a pretty impressive trailer to announce the new game. 24 years since the previous game, Streets of Rage is one of those franchises that just disappeared for no reason really. It never did anything wrong, it never justified not having another sequel, but it just never happened. So I'm delighted to see Streets of Rage making a welcome return to the gaming industry. That's Streets of Rage 4 confirmed. Daybreak Games released a new developer's diary video for H1Z1 on the PlayStation 4. In the video they revealed that the Desert Eagle is being released released soon on the PlayStation 4 version of the game, which would be pretty awesome. They also announced that there's been over 12 million players on the free-to-play game, and the most recent patch has increased the damage caused by the gas, they've balanced more of the weapons, and they've also improved the control of the vehicles, which again, is all pretty good. But there you go, that is your H1Z1 on the PlayStation 4 updates. Capcom have announced a remaster for Onimusha Warlords due for release on January the 15th, 2019. Now the game first launched on the PlayStation 2 in 2001 and sold well over 2 million copies. That's Onimusha Warlords Remastered, releasing on January the 15th, 2019. Insomniac Games have revealed the DLC plan for upcoming game Marvel's Spider-Man. Now the DLC is called The City That Never Sleeps and we split into three parts with part one being released on October the 23rd, that's called The Heist. Part two is is called Turf Wars and is due for release in November and the final part called Silver Lining is due for release in December. It's included as part of the deluxe edition or you'll be able to purchase it from the PlayStation Store of course but that is the City That Never Sleeps DLC for Marvel's Spider-Man. The Bradwell Conspiracy has been announced for the PlayStation 4. It's a first person story driven mystery game brought to you by the same development team as Surgeon Simulator. The release is currently scheduled as coming soon so I'd expect more details in the near future but that's the Bradwell conspiracy confirmed for PlayStation 4. Subnautica's standalone Arctic inspired expansion Below Zero has been confirmed via a new trailer. It is hitting Steam early access first but will follow on consoles at some point but that's the expansion Below Zero for Subnautica coming to consoles pretty soon. La Mulana 2 has been confirmed for the PlayStation 4. It's going to be released in spring 2019. There's a brand new trailer, but that's La Mulana 2 confirmed for a spring 2019 release on the PlayStation 4. Battlefield 5 has been delayed by a month. Its new release date is the 20th of November 2018. Of course, DICE and EA have confirmed that this is all to do with improving the game and making sure it's the best possible experience for the community. Certainly nothing to do with the drop in pre-orders or outrage from the gaming community about a certain social message that they insist on shoving down our throats. For the record, men and women are equal in all aspects of life. I just don't need game developers to suddenly turn into social justice warriors. It's just pointless. Anyway, new release date for Battlefield 5 is the 20th of November 2018. A new teaser trailer for Binding of Isaac Repentance has been released. It announces this new game possible expansion. The thing is, nobody actually knows what this is. If it's a new game, if it's another expansion, it's just a very short teaser trailer which promises that more information is to follow so we will get some more information quite soon that's the binding of Isaac repentance it, it's something. The PlayStation Plus lineup for September 2018 has been announced and it's Destiny 2 and God of War 3 Remastered. That is a AAA solid lineup of free games on the PlayStation Plus Instant Game Collection. Destiny 2 is available now. God of War 3 Remastered will be available from the 4th of September. Sony have announced a release date for another PlayLink game. This time it's Just Deal With It, which is pretty much a collection 
collection of all the classic card games such as Rummy, Poker and Blackjack. You can play with friends, of course. You can actually play it online as well, which is pretty awesome. That's just a deal with it launching on the PlayStation 4 on the 14th of November 2018. Playlink games are all pretty solid games. They're a lot of fun, so long may it continue. Shovel Knight's final expansion has been revealed with a release date of April the 9th, 2019. It's called Showdown and it's a four-player fighting game. That's it. You have four knights, you'll fight each other to the death and then you have a winner. Simple as that. It can be played online and locally but that's Shovel Knight's Showdown released on April the 9th, 2019. The final story of the week as always is your UK game sales chart from the past week and a big surprise at number one is new. It's Formula One 2018. Number two is Shenmue 1 and 2. Number three is God of War. Number four, Grand Theft Auto 5. Number five, Call of Duty World War 2. Number six, Detroit Become Human. Number seven, PlayStation VR Worlds. Number eight, The Crew 2. Number nine, Far Cry 5. And number 10, Lego The Incredibles. There you have it. That is it for this week's news. As always, thank you all so much for watching to the end. Last week's poll was Call of Duty Black Ops 4 versus Battlefield 5. And Battlefield 5 had a clean sweep. It got 100% of the poll. I believe there was about 16 votes in total who all went to Battlefield 5. So congrats, Battlefield 5. Now, I have got a question I want you to answer in the comment section below regarding Battlefield 5. And I kind of touched upon it earlier in the video. But I want to know in the comment section... What has gone wrong with Battlefield 5? Why have the pre-orders dropped? Why is it being dragged through the mud as it is? I've got my opinion, but I would like to know your opinion in the comments section below. This week's poll was a pretty simple one. It's Spider-Man. Are you buying it? Yes or no? Cast your vote in the little eye in the top corner of the video. If you're new around here, then please hit subscribe. If you've accidentally stumbled across this video and you're like, what the heck am I doing here? Then, of course, please hit subscribe as well. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your week, enjoy your gaming. I'm Waterfields One. See you later.